Welcome back to the morning show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It has been a few years, yes. and when you first came on, it was back in 2020 when the show was first yes. launching, yeah. and it took no time going to number one. Yeah. So does that feel like eons ago or yesterday? I don't know. Like the pandemic made things very like weird. Like time <laughs> is odd and strange. I mean, yes. we're talking about how does it feel like a Friday or not right now? But right. like the pandemic, I don't know if it's so long ago or if it was just like a year ago or just a couple of months ago. So time isn't real. That is what I I've come to conclusion. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, how real does this feel? That this is the final season. This feels real. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I feel like. It didn't feel real when I finished filming the final season. Yeah. Because that was very, like, raw and fresh. And I didn't, like, fully take in, like, oh, my God, I'm not going to go back to work on Never Have I Ever. It's done. And how does that feel? That was sad in that moment. But mm. now I'm actually quite happy. Like, I'm very proud of the entire show and everyone who got to work on it from the cast and the crew, all the creatives. And I do just feel really excited about the future sure. and I'm very overwhelmed with gratitude. Well, yeah. and what's great about these shows is that they live on forever, right? Yeah. That even, I was just saying at the top of the show that, uh, remember my daughter and I first started watching season one, but, and then she was watching a bit when I, when I was um, watching this current season, and then she went and talked to some friends, but I just kept going from one episode to the next. I'm like, yeah. this is, it's not even a story for me, but it, I- No, I, why, I mean, why, not, why is it in a story well, for you? It is, in a way, because I was there. We were all there. It's so relatable, and it's even a good parenting tool. It's, there you go. It's, there's, there's something, there's something for, for everyone. everyone. <laughs> exactly. So yes. Why can't it be for you? I mean, I, exactly. hope, I hope our show like ages well. It will. In time. I know it will. I hope so. <laughs> but like, yeah, no, you're totally right. I mean, it's always there. It's like, just because the story is done doesn't mean you can't still relive those fun comedic moments, you know? And it's even sometimes fun to rewatch something where you know what's going to happen. Yeah. And you can pick up on things sooner. What do you hear? Do you hear from everyone, like all ages, on, on yes. what they think of the show? Oh my God, all the time. I so often I'm told like, oh, I know the show isn't meant for me or like, oh, I'm not supposed to be watching the show. Yeah. But I'm like, why? Like, <laughs> I hear it so often. And I think truly it's a testament to the amazing writing done by the writing team on Never Have I Ever. And truly, it's a show that's rooted in stories of the heart and that are so human. Mm -hmm. And that is why so many people, not just young adults, can relate to. And I, I think that's beautiful. I think that's what makes Never Have I Ever special as a young adult comedy. For sure. Uh, I want to see the scene because I haven't gotten here yet. And oh, I want to see, because you guys go up with a bang and I hear this dance number. Okay. Um, Tell me, can, can we roll this? Because I, I, I'm not there yet in the season. So tell me about this. Yeah, so this was intense. Um, I had like 48 hours to learn this. And um, dancing is not my forte. I'm more happy being the funny guy than I am a dancer. But I do love to dance. So it was very fun. Um, and what was really cool was that we were dancing to a Thummel song. And to me, as a Thummel woman, that was really like a moment of pride to be able to showcase my culture, wear a half sorry, um, have my cast members hype me up because I was very nervous. <laughs> well, you don't look it. And I, okay, I can't wait to get to that episode. Yes. I, okay. Um, before we run out of time, we want to play a quick little game. Cool. Not never have I ever. Okay. Because we're a morning show. <laughs> Who knows? But we're going to do, um, we're calling this one Have I Ever. Oh, okay. okay. So whatever comes to mind when I ask the you. The things this that I have done. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Cool. Scariest thing. I've ever done. I don't get scared. No, no I'm kidding. Um, no, you scariest don't. thing that I've I'm ever done? I wasn't scared, but I am still baffled that I did at 17 lead a Netflix show. High five. Like, you know? High five on Like, that. I wasn't scared in that moment, but I'm baffled that I did that. Because that is kind of a yeah. lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Fair. Yeah. I could. Yeah. But you know what? Your answer, you already answered this one too, is that dance. The dance yeah. you did. How scared you were yeah, for that? Yeah, well, sure. The dance. Yeah. Funniest thing. I've ever done. Anything that comes out of my mouth, I'm a funny guy. No, <laughs> I, I like don't know. Funniest things, probably like when I was a kid. I was way more funny, I think, when I was like a child. I think ages five to like seven, 
I was a solid, funny guy. <laughs> that was when I should have had a Netflix stand-up special. <laughs> I'm not going to have one now. I won't be as funny as I was Oh, I doubt that. <laughs> okay, most challenging thing I've ever done. You've already answered that one, too. Yeah, okay. definitely, definitely the, the show, for sure, thus far. Yeah. Okay, uh, last one, most romantic thing I've ever done. Most romantic thing I've ever done? Um, probably any self-care thing I do for myself. Oh, yeah, probably. Because uh, no romance is greater than self-love. There you go. I, I, let, I let the romantic things happen to me. Now, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, that's so how I like should. to live my life. There you go. Yeah. All right. So good talking to you. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> Congrats on everything. Final season of Never Have I Ever is available on Netflix.